We're going to lead you through some basic exercises that we do with any beginner group. We do this with kindergartners. You guys can do it. So come on up, find a place, and you're just going to stand at the drum. We're going to pass out bocce. Everyone say bocce. bocce. We're going to pass out the bocce. You're going to hold the bocce like this. Make sure you hold your bocce in your hand nice and quiet. We're not going to bang on the drums yet. Two for each person. And then the people that don't quite make it to drum can take a seat right up here, and we'll put you in the second group, all right? We can have some more space over here. All right. Excellent, but don't touch any drums yet. Don't hit any drums yet. All right? And if you don't have a pair of bocce, you know what, Esther, let me see, over here. If you don't have a pair of bocce, we're going to put you in the second group. First group has a little harder because they don't want to. So, all right, you can come right here. And if you don't have a pair of bocce, come stand out here because the drumsticks will be flying. And we don't edit any on to anyone to be concussed. Not today. No blood today. Okay? Come on over here. It's, it's going to be loud in here. Yes. All right, so everyone, we should have two or three people at each drum. I want you, um, like, take a whole length of your drumstick away from your drum. A real common thing is to be standing right here. And when that happens, the only thing you hit is your thumb. So if you guys could take a seat. There's actually some empty seats. The audience can't see if you stand right there. Or sit off to the side. Wow, five people at this drum. I think you're asking for blood. Um, right here. Right there. Let's get over there, okay? Excellent. Now, here we go. Ready? You're going to, you want to a little more distance between your, you and your drum, right? Almost a whole length of your drumstick. Scoot back. Scoot back, really. Because you'll hit your hand a little more. Scoot back. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's a 1980s word, I guess. Um, all right. Now, you're going to wrap your finger and your thumb all the way around. Leave a little bit hanging out past the bottom. So I don't want any see thumbs any sticking out or any first finger sticking out because that's what you'll end up hitting and it will hurt. Okay? Now, you notice how we're standing sumo dachi. Sumo dachi. Legs apart, knees bent, back straight. It's like sitting on a big, fat horse. Feels weird, looks weird, got to do it. All right? Very important to keep your back straight because if you do this and you hit the drum and it bounces back, you get extreme makeover to hit the All right. Now, when I say up, you're going to take your favorite hand. You're going to let it drop, hit, bounce right back up. You're always going to be playing your drumsticks where you can see them. Can I see my drumstick? Can the person behind me see my drumstick? Yeah, okay. So that's really bad for your elbows. It doesn't look very pretty. And uh, and the head of the person behind you can't see it. Okay, ready? I say, hop, you hit. I will try to trick you. Big old copycat, Simon says. Ready? If you do well, I'll make it really hard.
now. And then you're going to walk. Before anyone else comes up, let's let these guys walk off the stage. Walk the stage. Well, concrete. 